Welcome back to CBR MTG. We've got our next set of matches. We've got Dan Schuller back on the Ant and James Lett on Turbo Debs. So James moved here from Melbourne not long ago, so he's been coming for the last couple of fortnights, and uh, Turbo Depths has been certified good. Definitely against me, I've played him the last uh, couple of fortnights, and it's a really interesting deck. Uh, we know Brandon Owen here uh, was playing Blue Black Depth still, yeah. which is not which is not dissimilar, but Turbo Depth seems to have a lot more going on. It's definitely like it's it's definitely pretty different. It does it does the same thing in the end of the day in that it's trying to make a twenty twenty out of its dark depths uh, through either Thespian Stage or Vampire Hex Mage. Yeah. Um, this version is just straight green black. Uh, some of them I know play uh, Brainstorm. Um, pretty, it doesn't pretty play Standstill. Like, it's trash. Right? It doesn't exactly. Yeah, that's like, right. <laughs> how does he ever expect to? play standstill if he's not going to put it in <laughs> if he's deck. not playing blue. exactly yeah. if he's not playing standstill um, how yeah. can he play standstill it's, it's definitely just like a bit of a punt if I'm, if I'm completely honest he's a nice uh, camera friendly dice I was going to say I need, I need to steal these dice yeah. from James yeah. um, I feel like just playing against James um, I feel like he's definitely got the upper hand here he does oh, seem man. like he's got a lot his of deck, garbage he's, hand out of a down there uh, <laughs> his, his deck just moves a lot quicker planes no, it was a flooded strand. Oh, okay. Uh, it may have been a dodgy proxy you were talking about, though. I'm, I'm not sure. It was just like all lands, a single discard spell, a single dark rune, and then tendrils, which is yeah, definitely, mm. definitely a mulligan. Um, I haven't quite copped what's in James' hand yet. He's got a pithing needle. Uh, shuts down wasteland. Won't be needed to do that this match. In fact, um, I don't think there's anything you can really shut down with it. It's mainboard pithing needle stand for turbo deaths. Um, I don't, I'm honestly not 100 percent sure. It's um, it's definitely like a really good card in the deck, but it, you often see it as like a like it's a got three of in there. several of in, his, in the sideboard. But he's opted to play them in the main board, which is um, might be a medical maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing to side out <laughs> if you're looking yeah. for things to side out game too. This hand from Dan's at least a little better. Ooh, so this is pretty. Wine pithing needle. Yeah, this is pretty loose. Maybe like he's got a quick hand, and it's just like he, just getting rid of the bad things, or, or just like shut shut down the only thing that stops him. Yeah, exactly. Really, like what would you? The bad matchup. Unless... Or is it just to shut off wasteland? Maybe just in case. If he names yeah. Lion's Eye yeah, Diamond, I will poop my pants. <laughs> just blind names Lion's Eye Diamond. Well, he like he probably knows what Dan's on, right? I'm, Potentially, but you know, I, th I, th I, think, I think it's Wasteland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is fine. Which is which is, fine. Which is which is totally okay. Yeah, I yeah. guess like the card That's definitely, definitely medical, out right? the deck pretty bad. I don't think so. I think um, I think Turbo Depths just plays it. And the Inquisition. Inquisition. That's, Inquisition pretty pretty That's interesting. So a lot of the decks play three Jurass. Uh, oh he's God. opted to play one Jurass and uh, two Inquisitions. Two um, Tendrils. Two Tendrils. Yeah. Interesting. So so he has. Uh, I thought he was on like a the pretty standard ant list, but it looks like this he's opted is... for the one which can which can go a little longer with the with the several win cons main. Um, usually, you only see them playing the one tendrils of agony. Uh, this one is is like much better Oof. against like late game control decks like miracles, where you can sort of do a half fast tendrils and then just do it later. Yeah, this hand Unf seems unfortunately loose. unfortunately turbo yeah. depths just kind of. I mean, of it was the multi six. Wins quick. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, be, like he's. I'd I'd have some interest in just like taking the. No, you probably just take the preordain. Yeah. 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 As you say, like you take the lotus petal, you just lock him out of playing the the, the preordain. Yeah, but, but if he just draws the land, then yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, and unfortunately, he has. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good move. Getting rid of the preordain. Yeah. yeah, I think. I, mean, I mean, like, he, he had yeah. he had nothing else in his hand, and preordain no. was just gonna like help him get there. He's definitely got a, like a fair way to go. So Oof. here we yeah. go. He yeah. so, this is being turbo. This is why he was so keen to just snap off that pithing needle. And, okay, uh, so and he's got just, yeah, just that's that's pretty it's it's like is, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, still, there we go. Still had all these. So, so got, uh, two so, win cons on table. Well, the, I mean, uh, so Dan, that's been said as well. Dan, Dan kind of has to snap off um, like one of these alive. tendrils just to stay alive, and then kind of I don't know. There's there's actually I don't think because he kind of needs to draw two cards to win with his hand. That's yeah, true. like he needs um, it's like a lion's eye and then like a tutor or something yeah. or like um. I don't know, he can't generate enough mana to go... Uh, he cast no. one... He it looks like he's... Yeah, I think, I think Dan knows the position he's currently in. Yeah. That's a bad one. You might be thinking, do I just throw away the Cabal Rit? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a pretty sweet line of, like, concession. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, just concede in response to the hex yeah. activation. If you stifle the concession, though, you have to keep playing. So... Yeah. Well, like, shouldn't you have to use you definitely stuff. do it like when he's when he's about to kill you with the swing. Well, you can right? always do it at the start of the combat step. Yeah, that's fair. That's combat? 
Cover? How do we shortcut? How do we shortcut this? How do we How do we shortcut to the shortcut concession? Oh my god! Yes, it seems like so. Dan's maybe made a meta choice himself by having the longer game where he can snap off the tendrils without feeling too bad. I don't. I don't don't necessarily understand why because we don't have a very controlling meta. No. It's true. We have the opposite yeah. of controlling meta. Yeah, we have, we we have very, very we have meta. a very fast meta. We haven't had miracles game. until this last week. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and here's James snapping off and making that that merit yeah. leash. That shiny, shiny merit leash. That Beautiful. from the vault. It's um, no little D though, it's I remember. No little D. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Dan hoping against hope. Yeah. Um, Down to three. Maybe there's like some like really bad past in flames line, but I don't. Like he needs to, no, he just wouldn't generate enough mana. Yeah, this yeah. is, this is top. Yeah. yeah, I definitely, yeah, definitely agree with game. You know, just swung with the hex. Oh no, no he, yeah, he's, he's that, yeah. Yeah. trying to make the twenty twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah here we go. Scoops it up. That's, that's fair. Scoops it up. Look, um, look, Turbo Dex is a pretty, pretty good deck. Yeah, board. It's like he's got. Yeah, no it's guaranteed. It's uh, it's fast. Brought the case doesn't do anything. Yeah. Did not see what he was just hex manage, but at that point it's too late. It's funny having this sort of this style deck that it's like it's very vulnerable to a lot of hate and also not having any counter spells at all i mean inquisition and thought seize definitely do the job oh, and duress is in there as well but um like he's obviously just trying to do it as quickly as possible and just outrun his opponent by um by just throwing down lands that can't be counted which is usually pretty good i think dan's mm. probably a dress and a similar pre-order? well like hopefully he brings in no, he and... takes him out okay yeah James would be bringing in some chalices, right? You think? Possibly. Does, does he he, he plays yeah, yeah, three seems, chalices of void really nice. and two surgicals. A couple of, like, Crucible, <clears throat> Crimson Grip, Choke, Winter Orb, none of this world, Picking yeah, the, on Caracas. I don't know. Yeah, the chalice could definitely catch, like, Dan off guard. It's, um, it's definitely kind of a backup plan yeah. for the Turbo Death deck. It's, it's removing a couple of none of this world, because... It seems pretty just, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, I mean I, I, definitely... against Ant, for sure. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, uh, post board they have access to like Echoing Truth or, or some other yeah. spell, like a yeah. Chain of Vapor. Yeah, that's um, it. But with that, yeah, so he, I think Dan will definitely want to bring in the Chain of Vapor if he's got it in the board. I think I did see it. I'm not sure if he did bring it in or not, but um, good way of dealing with the Merit Lage. Uh, unfortunately, James probably bringing in those Chalice of the Voids, which should, um, you know, turn it off. Yeah, yeah. turn it off completely. Um, it's unclear. Dan can Chalice definitely just like, real good. Dan can definitely just win quicker. Um, Which like, I think probably should be his line. Just play quicker. That's yeah, probably correct. Um, but even doesn't matter how turbo turbo that is. Yeah. <laughs> but like with a hand on game one of dark ritual, cabal ritual, two two tendrils, two tendrils. Like, and it's pretty yeah. It's, on on the multi six, like yeah, I think you just I keep it just, and hope you're, yeah. you're like in, gonna have a slower game. Yeah. yeah. I mean preordain is probably like the preordain like it doesn't fix it, but him, it's, yeah. uh, it helps. Um, so I think James took out three Pithy Needle and three Not of This World. Um, yeah, that seems, seems And then much. probably brought in any number of Chalice of the Void, so yeah. three. And then, yeah, I, I, I couldn't couldn't see particularly what else he brought in. But, um, yeah, Pithy Needle seems kind of irrelevant. Mm. And Not of This World also seems. Um, he's got, yeah, he's got, um, like, it's not necessarily going to be particularly impactful, but he does have the Bojukabog main board to crop rotation for, like, if, if, if Dan yeah. does go for the Parson Flames line. Um, which I don't know. Dan could probably expect that because um, it's probably not worth it bringing two surgical extractions, right? Or for for Ant. I mean, well, it's it's just still, I, I, get I, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, it's just hitting pretty much. Same thing for the yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. How about just the oddly satisfying way that James uh, shuffles his deck? I know. I was I was admiring that. that. Sweeping thumb action is really very to neat. Me. It is. Yeah, it's like he's stroking the deck. <laughs> Rubbing some luck into it. it. Must be why it's so good to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he just treats it so nice. Yeah. Like how uh, some of our other players treat other people's cards when they get a bit salty, <laughs> throwing them around the place. You know, like he needs to give them an extra rub. You know? yeah. I was gonna yeah. say how Brandon treats his own cards and bends them all to hell. Uh, the table. Table. The, the pieces of cardboard. Get over it. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> So here James has like a hand of, a, I think there's two crop rotations and he's got two Thespian Sage and a, and a um, Urborg. Uh, no green mana, I, I don't see any green mana to snap off that a crop rotation. Yeah. Um, you can just hope, I mean, I can't is real dangerous. Are, yeah, there's two crop rotation. Two stage, an Urborg, and a... 
There's two yeah. swamps. Yeah, so, maybe? So, so if it's not anything. It was a maybe. There's two cards that were the same. Uh, right. Indeed. So he's rubbing it. Good luck. Let's do it again. Please, please give me a little rub, and I'll give you six better cards. Yep. I mean, yes. I didn't work the first time, so <laughs> he didn't rub hard enough. He's rubbing that's right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> More turbo. Yeah. Um, so it looks like Dan's kept his seven. He seems pretty happy with it. I um. Yeah, dark rit, the uh, cabal rit, um, tutor, preordain, and some lands. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like a yeah. solid ad hand. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah, uh, get... g- game one turbo depths lived up to its name and turbo the depths. It's pretty turbo. Is, uh... Is that a turn two? No, it's it turn three. Turn three. Turn three well, turn, turn three he did it, and then turn four he killed him. Yeah, that's true. yeah. yeah so, so it's like still like actually quite true. slow, which is why Dan still has like a pretty good edge in this matchup. I feel he did have a very slow hand, and um, you know got. Jurist. But have we seen before? Uh, Dan has well, whipped position, real hard. Yeah, so unfortunate. There's a swamp, a dark depths, and I think I saw a hex mage. Um, you, yeah, you probably just keep it, and he's I think he's kept what's on top, so it's probably does the thing. I can't see what the rest of the okay. So maybe two swamps. So it looks like, it uh, Sam like a might just be going, so shiny card. I think it's a foil duress. So yeah, so it looks like Dan might just I'm be talking. trying to go for it, I assume, unless he's just trying to snap off by a preordain or something. I think just he might just have a so like, If he has a preordain, you definitely just cast preordain here. Yeah. Unless yeah. we were with the hand. I can see what his last card Yeah, I don't think he had an LED, so you, like, pretty much, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. yeah it's fine. I didn't see that. There was Dark Petition and something else. Okay. Uh, he's already got the Infernal Tutor, he's probably not yeah. interested in those. No, yeah. probably. Looking for an LED. Uh, it's Gip Probe, I think. Yeah. Gip Probe seems good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So yeah, the second black source here is what James scribed to the top, it looks like. Um, <coughs> hopefully he has some amount of disruption, or he could be like, he could just be straight dead. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, 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 it was yeah, a foil yeah, yeah, dress. It's fine. Um, it's just quite nice, you can, you, you can probably just snap off the Infernal Tutor, yeah. Yeah. I think just get rid of that, right? Unfortunately... Unfortunately, it does leave him open to the Cabal Therapy, but I think it's still just correct. Like, if, yeah. if Dan peels a... Good like Cabal Therapy is pretty probably, fun. Yeah, exactly. Like, he gets to take the Hex Mage, and then I don't think James had any other way of making the 2020. I think it's always Infernal Tutor, right? I mean, oh, pretty he's much. got a hand that does like, a lot of knock. Take the thing that lets him win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I mean... We'll see what he chooses. Well, I think he's, also... he's already chosen it. No, I think Dan just pointed it out and said, this is the thing. Take yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably what you want to get rid of. Yeah. So he's just considering whether like it's just... Whether the Cabal therapy yeah. will uh, yeah. really, really... like. Uh, the other yeah. cards are Sylvan Library. Yeah, yeah. so the Sylvan yeah. Library and the Dark It's probably fine well, to just take the tutor. Yeah, because yeah. that's... Yeah, because yeah, otherwise... Oh, yeah, yeah So now, now he gets to just like snap off the Sylvan Library because uh, Dan yeah, will probably take... Hand. Well, Dan will definitely take the Hex Mage. Yeah. Uh, almost definitely. Unless he draws something. Something interesting. But... Um, then he, then he gets to slam the silver library and, and take some time. Is that a... It's a thought seize. Yeah. So a thought seize, and I'm not sure about that middle card. And the into the north. So into the north is... um, He, he probably won't be wanting to snap to off it. Lands? Yeah, it's yeah. two two mana sorcery, uh, search a library for a snow land and put it Oof. in play tapped. So I think Dark that gets... Is also yeah. A snow yeah, land. yeah, I think it gets a couple of people right there. that in uh, Highlander. That yeah. Dark yeah. Depths yeah. is a snow land. You're like, fine. <laughs> Get yeah, fine, get that snow, snow, get that snow covered swamp <laughs> that you have. He, he did. He kept playing snow basics. So it looks like he's running a one snow covered sw- forest, one snow covered swamp, which I believe is in his hand. So Dan has chosen to take the thought series, which means he's given himself two turns. Oh. Okay. Right, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so this is this is so, a lot uh, worse. Than turns, yeah. Much better. Um, yep. Yeah, he's I definitely just going to throw. They're out. getting like pretty sure. close to the threshold. He's, yeah, he's yeah. got the yeah. Oh, unfortunate, but it's um. That is a butt kicker. That's a huge beating because next turn he just gets a snap off hex mage and then. Uh, Thank with you, the James, for putting yeah. the camera yes. friendly dice on. And Dan might be a little bit out of luck here because uh, we didn't see any Chalice of the Voids game one. No, and no, if Dan's unfamiliar board, with yeah. the deck, then uh, he might not have brought in anything for it. Yeah, Which like I said, like maybe he, yeah, he maybe he didn't had, bring like, the Echoing Truth or something. Oh, I did? So, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, oh, he I, didn't? No. If you don't expect the Chalice of the Void, you definitely don't bring in the Abrupt no. Case here. But you don't want to win combo. It's unfortunate that now it matters. The only Chalice of the Void deck we've seen um, yeah, around has been Eldrazi. Yeah, it's true. And, and, you know, and Merfolk. And Tesserae. That one time. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean decks that have been playing. That have come in a few times. Yeah. I think it's uh, really respectful that James still puts the dice on, even though he has <laughs> no intention of ever uh, 
minusing it down. I mean, sometimes it, it could be relevant. Yeah, so did he I not guess. have? Okay, so he just didn't have the hex mage. Yeah, right? no, it was okay. a thought so, so, yeah. I think it was a thought okay, so, so yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, that's fine. Civil library is quite good here. So Dan's not as like dead as I thought. Good for him. Good, for, good for him. So I see infernal tutor, uh, lotus petal, tendrils, cabal ritual, dark cabal ritual. therapy, and dark ritual. Yeah. Seems it's like it's only turning off two yeah. of his cards in his hand at the moment. Yeah, but I mean. That's Dark Ritual's yeah. pretty good. He doesn't have threshold yet. He can just throw stuff into Chalice just to get threshold. Well, yeah. he can put two, two, like he can put the land and the Lotus Petal in the bin oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he doesn't waste mana. Well, yeah. Well, maybe I want to waste mana. <laughs> <laughs> maybe mana wasting is what he's about. It's true. It's why he plays this. We don't mana shame here. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Can't believe you do. So it still like doesn't do anything no. though like it gets him to five matter and then he can i guess just like spend the cards in his hand and uh i mean i feel like no. you don't the, want to spend the, the cards the, in the, hand, the, the problem is the infernal shoot is offline no matter what until he casts the tendrils yeah. uh, or draws a lion side diamond so it's um uh, it's definitely about... not like it's not an i don't think he can really go anywhere from here Ooh. okay so this is yeah this is another reasonable thing to do but he's sort of Pro problem is like the, what he has in hand is not just like not going to kill his opponent. What do we have storm count? Are we just at one right now? But he's not doing it now. Do like he's he's just like spending the turn to do this. Yeah. So did he use Kabar ritual to get a Kabar ritual? No, yeah. he's no, yeah. revealing the Kabar ritual to the infernal tutor. Okay. To, yeah, to yeah. get another Kabar ritual. Let's see. Um... Oh, okay, broken sleeve there. Sure. Oh. That's rip a, it out the that's side. That's a bummer. Mm. It's too 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 hard on the on the shuffle yeah. shuffle pain. Yeah, it's it's it. <laughs> yeah, we, need, we need to be more. Like, we need we all need to be more like James to yeah. actually take care of That's ourselves. That's a lesson for this. I video. split so many <laughs> sleeves. Maybe I just need to start stroking it while I shuffle. Yeah, I mean stroking the deck. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the deck. The deck. <laughs> We're not seeing uh, double sleeved cards from Dan. Oof. Oof. Dan. <laughs> You're a big I think troll. I think they're all I think proxies. They're, I think they're all playtest cards. So. Uh, no, there's there's. I think he is building it, so... Um, yeah, he is. Like, there's definitely yeah, a few yeah. real cards in there, for sure. Yeah. That's when you know you're, like, really committed to a deck is when you buy uh, double sleeves for the proxies. You know, just <laughs> for the last few proxies. You've yeah. got to make them all double sleeved. Um, someone's back. I have no idea one. what that sound is. If that comes up on the microphone, someone's doing something. I mean, this is definitely coming up on the microphone. I live no I live in an apartment uh, building, so there, there are always <laughs> noises around. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so we know that we don't have... What's us. the top three cards of his library that like, what's he... Did not see... Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a Duck Depths, duck depths and, and something. And a couple of things. We'll put that down. Just show us, James. Just show it to us. It's not something that you're That's really okay. used to, right? Be okay, turbo. Paying, paying the full life. Well, he definitely doesn't want to draw the last Duck Depths. <laughs> Just play it out. So, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. so there we go. So that's um. Uh, so we're there. It'd be a chalice. Right. Oh, okay. So he is playing chalice, chalice on two. That's interesting. That's, yeah. That seems okay. fine. It's it's definitely yeah. It's I mean, he's there right. next turn, right? With Thespian Sage, two lands, and Dark Dabs. He's, yeah, I mean, yeah. it just straight up makes like makes him win the game instead of just maybe yeah. giving your opponent a chance to win the game next turn because because uh, he oh, went and got the other two. I think cards. I think <laughs> seeing him get the yeah Kabar yeah, was definitely what yeah yeah what saying saying okay yeah. yeah Chalice Sun is probably the right Oof. move. He just doesn't do anything now, right? He's just he's got Lotus Petal. He can play a Lotus Petal. He drew Lions Eye Diamond, but it doesn't. Just doesn't I don't matter. think Dan can really do much here. No, I mean. Can he he can't even cast the tendrils. Oh, rough. It's pretty rough. <laughs> that is that is a bit rough. I mean, just tendrils for three, a couple of four. LEDs would be useful. That'd be nice. So James just, oh, just laughing it out at this point. Just yeah. saying, what are you gonna do? It's <laughs> probably not what he's saying, but yeah. I like to believe it is. Yeah. He could go land lotus petal. Oh, he doesn't have he a doesn't lion's eye. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lion's eye. He has a lion's eye that he can play and a lotus petal that he can and play, and that's it. That is all. Yeah. And he, yeah, that he, yeah. That's a lot of mana just, that you can have. Yeah. You just don't do much with this. Just don't have cards. You know. Poor Dan. He's thinking real hard here. I think he's just slowly realizing that he just doesn't have a lion. He's got two turns, is the only thing. Uh, to no, no, well, yeah, sure, make sure. Them but it just doesn't... But I, I don't like, think I guess, he brought in he, any answers yeah, for so the chalices. That's the thing, like, he, he might have brought in Echoing Truth, but it it's still, like, he needs to draw it and then... Yeah, and then also go the off. Yeah, that's so right, yeah. It's, um, not looking great. <sighs> that's so disheartening as well, like, if you didn't see a chalice, you just might not have brought anything in for it exactly then... exactly like Herka's Oof. recall maybe out of the border then real sweet oh, no, uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't even matter because it's because it's just totally shut off by the, the storm three so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Definitely, like, generate a bunch of storm. <laughs> yeah. Sick. No, it's just gonna... I guess making sure I remember the triggers, though. Definitely the correct thing to do there. Maybe just lets you go for it and just yeah, forget. Yeah, yeah. Shows him the hand. Yeah, yeah there we go. Check, scoops yeah. it up. Yeah, it was a pretty, um, pretty, pretty rough time for Dan. There's a couple some of good really play nice draws off the top of the deck, yeah. 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 Um, the Sylvan Library did its work. I think yeah, Turbo Depths just has, has a lot of... Um... Is that a... It's not... Oh, it's some new card. Is it like Turnicide or something? No. It wouldn't be Something or something, yeah. maybe? Yeah, that'd be... I don't know. I know. That'd be... There's two of them. Reply in the chat! <laughs> <laughs> let, us, let us know what that is. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> guys! <laughs> uh, I think it is Turnicide. Is it? Okay. No, 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 that doesn't no, seem that's, right. That's, that's no, it would definitely not be it's it's not oh, no, One drop instant. Who knows what it is? Anyways, tell us what it is. I think let's get back to the decks. Uh, I think Turbo Depths definitely just has so much, um, like so not necessarily shame. not necessarily filtering, but I mean you've got. Uh, it's so dedicated to combo. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's really James's redundant. James's dice case. So oh, this is a man who like loves his cards. You know, loves loves the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's even for the, the two dice that are the same <laughs> <laughs> is, is that one of those like things you put in silica, 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 silica um, stops your foils from curling? Oh, like, the James, James is great. Oh. I think I'm in love with him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> James, if you're watching, hit up Angus. Yeah, you're yeah. the real winner of this game, slide as into, well as the technical winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, I mean, Turbo Depth seems like a really good deck, and it's you know, it's good. it's been showing up here the last couple of four nights with James piloting it, and um, yeah, I love the look of it. I love the deck. It looks really, Sweet. really cool. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't play standstill, so it's trash. <laughs> it's garbage. So Brandon doesn't like it because it doesn't play standstill. Um, I don't think standstill works very well in this deck that goes real fast with like crop rotations <laughs> and no blue. You know, so we'll probably just give. How it do you counter spells without blue? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really yeah. weird. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching that uh, that like game. Subscribe. Um, like subscribe. Oh my god! <laughs> Every time, catch you on the next one. Yeah.